Okay, the Prussians are actually getting closer and this might have been a mistake or it might be just really good for us, but I've changed the position of my howitzer and my 24 pounder foot artillery. Because I feel that if I have my artillery up here, they'll do more damage because they have a wider range to maneuver. Now they are they have a whole bunch of cavalry. But it really won't matter much now, will it? Um it won't. Yeah, because all of my infantry is just pointed to one place and they will not do much in all honesty. And I actually had to move this unit of line infantry out of there because they were actually getting a yeah, they were getting nicked a little bit and we don't really want that. No, no, no. All right. That might be the very first charge of the Gendarmier. Okay, get my men back on the wall. And that is, yes, that will be the very first time they attack us. And that is the first volley of my Grenadiers. I'm sorry, lads, but no, no, no. You will not do much. You shan't do a thing against this. And good, my Grenadiers can actually shoot over there. I was worried they couldn't, but they can. And they do shoot over there. Amazing. Right, that unit has done absolutely nothing. I think they tried to go for our artillery, but alas to no avail. Right, you guys can actually deploy. Right, you're going against that, but yeah. Even though it was a little bit glitched, you guys understood what happened. They just died instantly. Right then, we have... Yeah, it is impossible for the Prussians to do a dent against us. What is that? Line infantry. It basically vanished... It really did vanish over in there, my god. Okay, you can unlimber. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And that cavalry will never do a thing against us. It shan't. It is, we are... Our position is just basically incredible. Just turn the cannons around and you'll be able to do quite a lot of damage, I would say. Okay, stop firing at them and find something else. Really, nine men and they're still alive. Like for example, that full unit of line infantry, that should be good. Okay, good. And everyone that attacks through here, they'll have the support of this unit of line infantry up here. Mortar, find something else. And I mean cavalry, come on. All of you are dead. A very glitchy dead, but you are all dead. Grenadiers, yes, do you stand atop the thing that serves for your protection just my god all right artillery you actually need to unlimber you're not in that good of a position unfortunately in comes another volley really absolutely no one died you're you're kidding me right Uh, okay then. Okay, turn a smidge bit over to the side. 
You're not on top of your defenses now, are you? Thank God you're not. Okay, and my artillery. Get in there. And if they try and do anything... Oh, you guys have fire by rank? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought that... Oh, because I'm so used in the, to Darth mod. I think that the Grenadiers also have fire by rank. Instead of fire... If I have a platoon. I mean, um... Yeah, exactly that. Are you guys really not able to do a damn thing? Come on. Unnecessary losses, but okay. And look at that. We... We have yet to suffer major casualties throughout the entire line. Look at that. Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. That is just phenomenal. And are they going to... They're wavering. And they charge me with their citizens. Um... Kind of a mismatch. But quite alright. Don't come forward from your fortification, you idiot. Seriously. Well, which one was the... F Both of them have the same number of units now. Which flank was the one that suffered the most amount of casualties? The center is quite okay. You don't need to do that, but... Go for the artillery, why don't you? I thought for a moment that they wouldn't... were still unable to want to fire. Come on. Do something. There you go. And then they're gonna all kneel for one guy. And there's another cavalry charge which will end in disaster. Yeah, I'm sorry, but they I Yeah it still does disappoint. <laughs> quite quite a fair bit. I mean yeah, um I took the Empire the Empire's AI in in Darth Moth for granted basically. I didn't think that I since I haven't played vanilla in quite a long while, I I didn't think it would be this dreadful. But it is absolutely dreadful. Right, cavalry. Move it there. I don't think I'll need to use them though, but in any case. Right, this was the unit that actually suffered the most amount of casualties in regards to the amount of men they started with. Our far left flank, it did some shooting, but as I've stated, uh, no one would actually be able to do a damn thing against us. So, we are quite okay. Okay, everyone stop. Shoot at that one unit. Okay, you go over there. Just wait a little teeny tiny bit. And... Are they actually... They're hitting more the artillery rather than the line infantry regiment. Well, alright then. Uh, 
and then comes another volley. What if I use this? I, actually, we're shooting against the line infantry unit and there. We can actually do a shrapnel shot or canister shot. All right then. They're actually trying to attack my cavalry unit. Oh, are they doing that to go through there? Ah. Oh. Okay, now that is quite some good programming, I would say. In regards to basically everything we've seen, that is probably the best thing I've seen in the entire game. But they should have gone through... Okay, never mind. It was okay-ish. And you can also stop, otherwise you'll shoot my own men. I don't know what they're doing, I really, really don't, but they're just delaying us getting the the victory, but... Okay, shoot at those. I mean, they're still walking. They're just walking th towards us. And there we go, they finally routed. It's taking for bloody ever to actually get him to rout, and you're kidding me again? Would you kindly just stop? You've just been annoying this entire bloody battle. Okay, everyone. Get in there, and let us just get this battle done, I guess. Come on, just... just route, please. I've not killed their general, so they're, they're still thinking, oh, Our general's still alive, so we should fight till the end. Our general will do the same for us. Your general has routed from the battlefield, you idiot. Ah, theory me. Alright, artillery. Stop firing. For now. Half of our cavalry regiment is still back there, unable to do a damn thing. If my unit routes... I'm gonna be fairly... I am fairly disappointed, seriously. At the end of the bloody battle, you decided now is the time to rout. But still, it was mostly my fault. Right, now go for that one. Don't let him freaking shoot us again. Okay, and now for the last one. Keep on charging. All right, the battle is finally done. Oh God, just took forever to actually end. It was just quite annoying. Okay, so this is one of the things that I truly and utterly hate about Empire is also War, or it's also War Empire, whatever you want to call it. It's just rubbish. And they somehow made it worse when they made the Definite Edition. And that is, whenever the AI sallies out, they think... They have a massive, massive, massive event advantage. I mean, look at that. This is the uh, the rest, the, the remnant of the army. Apparently, it wasn't a uber general. It was just a normal general. The game is just 
since it's very hard, they decide, yeah, I'm, we're just gonna fight until the bitter, bitter end and not give up or just bad coding. But look at that. A normal general, three stars, which is right as they recruited him, with and with him, 123 men. 17 of which are Firelock Arm citizenry. Against 1,451 uh, men, all of whom are veterans, six regiments of guards, three of grenadiers, six of line infantry, and we have artillery, and our general is a five-star general. And yet, if I click Auto Resolve, I might lose this. Actually, I'm just going to I'm just going to save real quick. Da -da -da. I'm going to save this real quick, and then I'm going to see if the auto resolve gives me the victory. It does, and I actually lost 39. So it just is rubbish. I have some very good news. We have Germany, all of it. So, while we were going to Silesia, this army over here, I had an army that was in Berlin, I put another one back, and then I sent another one over here. And then I sent it back, I thought, blah. So, what has happened? Because I also have Konigsberg, even though it belonged to Poland. I'll get to that in a second. First things first. We took West Prussia really easily. They had absolutely nothing, no unit whatsoever inside um, inside West Prussia. So we just got in there, decided, you know what? Do you want to surrender? Because at this point, they only had West Prussia and they had Silesia. So, what has happened? Why, why didn't you guys... Replenish. All right, because I forgot to do that. Okay. Um, so I now we now have West Prussia because they surrendered it to us, and Silesia is now ours again. Oh, ours again. Ours finally, and Prussia is dead. Now, how do we have East Prussia? The the same turn that we took Silesia, well, not took, but that we fought the battle for Silesia. Poland declared war on us. They didn't do a damn thing. But I was like, okay, um, so if you're going to attack us, you should attack us. They didn't attack us, they just stayed around Warsaw and stayed around East Prussia. I had an army over here, they didn't have an army over here. They had like four units or something. So I decided, you know what, I want to make peace. So I went to make peace. And I gave them money, but I thought, what if I give them less money, because I was planning on buying East Prussia, what if I give them less money, but they offer me East Prussia? They accept it. So, East Prussia is now ours. I have been developing it for a bit, and what I'm going to do is... Be as you can see, I think two turns ago, something like that, our protectorate, which they were our, they were our, our uh, they were our ally. Now Westphalia is now a protectorate. They absolutely the mad dogs. They took Amsterdam. That means all of the um, the provinces that they have, they had over here, Curaçao, and they had something else that was oh both of these both both of the Guianas are rebels interesting so the Dutch Guiana has rebelled and the French Guiana has rebelled for some other reason but before because I saw that my protectorate was actually attacking Amsterdam I was like I'm gonna pull a sneak on you and I brought Ceylon how fantastic is that? I'm not building an army in it for the time being because I want first things first to actually upgrade it. Still gonna take a little bit until it's fully upgraded. And then we we shall come to India. 
So that will be our objective, I guess. Let me just check. We have nine provinces. So 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Ooh, 26 provinces. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, so if we take Persia, all of Persia, all of India, then we can win. So that is exactly what we'll do. Perfect. Okay, so we have all of that. Hopefully my vessel still has that by the, by the end of our campaign. And also, before I forget, we are going to send all of the armies that we currently have in Europe, for example, this one is just keeping the peace, just so Poland doesn't have any ideas. This army as well will also go to India. And both of these armies, this one I've been, I recruited in Berlin, and I'm recruiting a new one in Berlin to go along to India. We're gonna have, we're gonna need a couple of fleets. I'm also improving our dry dock. Get that, please. And actually, let me just check one thing. Steam dry dock. Okay, what do I need? For the steam dry dock. Okay, I don't, I don't think I need anything else. I'll check in a bit whenever that thing is concluded. But either way, we'll also have the Naval Hospital, which is quite nice as well. I'm not flying. Actually, it's not that nice. We do want... I want the heavy first rate. Ooh, that should be very, very fine indeed. All right, then. So... Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Back on topic, I'm going to keep only two armies in Europe. The exception is the one in Stuttgart, which is protecting our capital. We're going to have an army in Munich, which is already assembled. And we're going to have an army in Konigsberg, which is one unit from being completely assembled. All the other provinces will have the model that's going to be in Hanover. It's going to be... Six units of line infantry, four or four of conscripts, actually. Conscripts or militia? I'd rather have the conscripts, even though they have less ammunition. I'll just put some cheats on this, just so they can keep on fire, because three bullets is just absurd. So, yeah, this exactly what it's going to be. One unit of cavalry, one of howitzers, six of line infantry, four of militia or conscripts. And in Saxony, I don't know what I'm doing, but I just... Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So, six, and then one, two, three, four, and then a howitzer, and then a cuirassier all these ones can go away okay and we're also recruiting over here this one for some reason i can only have militias and this one will be the army which will stay in europe same as the one from munich and yeah next time that you guys see the campaign map we will have our armies assembled in ceylon ready to actually attack India, which should be fine and fun.